I even begin? They say opposites attract. It couldn't be truer for us. You are a dreamer. I am a realist. You are the center of the party. I'm having the deep conversation in the corner of the room. Alyssa, there's one thing that I always knew, and it was no matter what, that our love was very pure. It was unconditional, undeniable. You've always been a real one. Always have been something that I always cherish about you. the beach, I love the city. These differences balance us and allow us to teach each other new ways of thinking. You are the yin to my yang. I knew from the moment we adopted Charlie and Mia that this was the start of our family. I'm truly lucky to have ended up with someone like you, someone who's ambitious, tenacious, loving, gentle, family-oriented, and overall a remarkable human being. You are by far the smartest and most driven person I know, and I have seen you accomplish everything you've set out to do. The love, support, and loyalty that you have for me, your family, and your friends is part of what makes me love you so much. Your heart is so big, and you are so kind, and this isn't easy to find, but I found it in you. I commit to being your number one fan, always. I will be here to celebrate your biggest wins. I will be here to help solve problems and I will be here to support you during the hard times. We've had so many adventures together over the years, from Coachella to ACL, from Vietnam to San Tropez, from the Valley to Lake Como. You've been everything that I could ask for in a partner. I vow to be there for you whenever you need someone. I vow to protect you and your family from all threats, both foreign and domestic. I vow to support you on any endeavor that you decide to take on. I vow to be your rock and pillar of stability. give you a kiss every morning and every night just so you know that you're always loved. You are the sun to my moon, the moon to my stars. I choose you now, I choose you tomorrow, and I choose you for the days that follow. I vow to be a better version of myself every day that passes by. I can't wait to see what a lifetime has in store for us. I love you. She has been the light of my life since the day she was born. She's not only my daughter, but my best friend. Here we are now with this great looking couple who will be fulfilled in their life with each other. Since Alyssa was our first grandchild, we took this opportunity to spend many joyful times with her. We are thrilled to welcome Mark with wide and open arms into our family. Mark, always you've been life of the party. Never thought that I'm gonna see this day. Thank you, Alyssa. We're so pleased and happy to have you as a daughter. From the moment I held you in my arms, Alyssa, 
I fell in love with you. I'm in your corner with hopes and prayers and a helping hand to support you. Relationships matter, like the shattered glass during the ceremony. It teaches us the fragility of relationships and the special care they need. The one thing I've always said about my brother is that he's the most charismatic guy I've ever known. I don't know where I would be with that. I'd be so lost out of my mind if I didn't have you as a brother. If I was the older brother, you would be a mess. <laughs> Alyssa, he's your responsibility now. He's not mine anymore. May you grow together and enjoy this special union as we have enjoyed it. We love you and we will always be here for you both. So let's raise our glasses and toast to the bride and groom, Alyssa and Mark Yagubi. There's always been the constant thread of your love to carry you through any of the curveballs life throws at you. It's my pleasure and honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. Kiss the bride deeds. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Yagubi. Welcome to the show. <laughs> 